Hi, and welcome to today's class where we will be covering audit standards. Auditing standards outline the basic principles of audit methods and performance and are abbreviated ASA. There are many different standards that cover a range of principles. There are Australian account auditing standards, standards for review engagements, and standards on assurance engagements, just to name a few. So who enforces the auditing standards? Well, there are three professional bodies in Australia. There is the CPA Australia, there is the Institute of Chartered Accountants Australia, and there is the IPA. Likewise, the Corporations Act enforces the standards, as do ASIC. What we have listed here are the main auditing standards that range from ASA 100 through to 800. And they cover things such as the objectives of the auditor, the terms of an engagement, planning, evidence, and forming an opinion. If we look in particular at ASA 200, the objective of the auditor, according to this standard, is to form an opinion on whether the financial information has been prepared in accordance with applicable accounting standards, the view presented by the financial information as a whole is consistent with the auditor's knowledge of the business of the entity, the financial information complies with relevant regulations and statutory requirements, and there is adequate disclosure of all material matters necessary to give a true and fair view. Professional judgment is outlined within this standard. And professional judgment means the application of relevant training, knowledge and experience within the context provided by auditing, accounting and ethical standards in making informed decisions about the courses of actions that are appropriate in the circumstances of the audit engagement. Likewise, there is a definition of professional scepticism, which means an attitude that includes a questioning mind, being alert to conditions which may indicate possible misstatement due to fraud or error, and a critical assessment of audit evidence. The scope of the audit. What is it? It refers to the audit procedure necessary to achieve the objectives of the audit. Many audits are based on a sampling approach and involve testing transactions, balances and internal controls. So what factors can influence the scope of an audit? Well, an audit is designed to provide reasonable assurance that financial reports are free from material misstatement. But what does reasonable assurance actually mean? It refers to the accumulation of audit evidence necessary to conclude whether the financial report contains material misstatement. Another important concept is materiality. Planning and performing the audit is based on the concept of materiality. Something is considered material if its omission or misstatement could reasonably be expected to influence the economic decisions of users. Who is responsible for the financial report? Well, management is responsible for both its preparation and presentation. When reports are tabled, management are asserting they are prepared with accuracy, completeness and validity. Audit objectives and assertions. There is one, completeness, where, which means that no unrecorded transactions, assets or liabilities appear. Accuracy, the transactions and balances are accurate. 
Validity. All transactions are authorised. The safeguarding of assets. Assets are kept safe. Security. Being security is present in the accounting system. Accountability. Client staff are accountable for their positions. And finally, existence. Assets and liabilities do exist. So in effect, these objectives and assertions are the same. Further objectives include occurrence, where transactions have actually occurred, valuation, assets and liabilities are valued appropriately, measurement, the measurement of transactions is consistent, cutoffs, transactions are recorded in the correct accounting period, rights and obligations, ownership rights and liabilities are considered, presentation, Formats are in accordance with legal requirements. Disclosure. Necessary disclosures are made. Again, these objectives and assertions are the same. We will cover off on these in further detail in later topics. And the following questions are for you to complete in class. Thank you for your time.